Yeah, I believe in Illuminati. I don't believe in the way they describe it. I don't believe that that there's actually Illuminati in hip hop. Now, with that being said, does Illuminati exist? It, 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 it goes back to the Egyptian pyramids. Now, is the Masons claiming that? Some do, some don't. Uh, the way they describe it in hip hop, no. That, but now, with that being said, there is a certain level that you get at that you can't go no further unless you're aware of certain things. And I, I, I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain level that you get at, to get to. That there's a door that you have to walk through. And it's on you to walk through that door. And once you walk through that door, there's no coming back. Now, I didn't walk through the door. So I don't exact. I can't really pinpoint it for you. I can't say it. But I got to that level. Not, I ain't telling you I was approached to join the Illuminati. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I got to a level where there was big boys that was saying, here's another step. Hey, YouTube world. Harvest is plenty. Hope all is well. Thanks for stopping by. Got some information I want to drop off to you today. So we're going to talk about Kurt Franklin, the gospel singer and artist, his performance at the BET Awards of 2022 this year. Um, before I jump into that, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Now, what I'm getting ready to talk about and share with you guys, I'm not sure if it's going to get struck down by YouTube, if they're going to snatch it down and penalize me for it, but I'm going to put it up anyway. As you know, and for those of you who don't know, who are new to my channel, this is my third go round. I started initially with Harvest is Plenty, and YouTube took my entire channel down. So I came back with my backup channel, Harvest is Plenty 2, and they just recently took that down. So I'm back. This is my third try with Harvest is Plenty 3. So please make sure that you watch these videos before they get pulled down again. Um, but yes, Kirk Franklin. You know, he's been around for a long time. I've, I, I'll be honest with you, I've actually been a fan of Kirk Franklin. But over the years, I start watching a change in his music. He went from Jesus focused to world focused. Um, and if you follow somebody for some time, it doesn't matter if it's in rap, hip hop, country music, uh, gospel or whatever. If you follow them and you you know listen to a number of albums, you could always tell when there's a change in the direction of their music. And I've always told people for a long time that there are dark forces that control both the movie and the music industry. It's been happening for a very long time. I mean, the whole world is under the sway and the control of the wicked one. And, I, and, for some, and for context, I'm going to share some scripture with you to show you that. But when you join the music industry, it doesn't matter if you're singing gospel, rap, hip hop, country, western, whatever you want. Um, the dark and evil forces of Satan are in control of those industries. So at some point, you will have to compromise. Either you walk away, or you compromise and go through those doors. You know, rapper Noriega, who was in the intro, you know, he talks about there a door to the left, a door in the middle, and a door to the right. And you have to decide which door you're going to go in. It's up to you. It's by your own free will. But just know that at some point, if you become very successful, you're going to have to compromise. So either you take the oath, do the sacrifice, or do whatever they ask of you, or you step down and walk away. Some people are not willing to do that because of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. You know, as humans, we live in sinful flesh. And the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And we tend to fall prey to a lot of these things. I'm not judging anybody. I'm not casting any stones or anything like that. I'm just saying that 
the movie industry and the music industry is under control of the wicked forces and they're going to try to get you to compromise if you decide to go into those industries now let me give you a little context uh, of what's going on before we listen to Kirk's performance and you will see and hear the blasphemy coming out of his mouth so let's take a look here if you open your Bible to the chapter of Luke 4 5 through 8 it says the following and the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him and we're talking about Jesus Jesus to him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it now what do you mean by that was delivered unto me when Adam rebelled remember in the beginning God gave Adam dominion over the entire earth over the animals over everything and when Adam rebelled against God he lost his crown Satan then assumed dominion over the earth Jesus Christ the second Adam came to atone for our sins and he's going to take it all back and that's what that verse is talking about but Satan is telling Jesus look if you bow down and worship me I'll give you all these kingdoms because they're all mine so we go to verse 6 if thou therefore will worship me all shall be thine and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve so Satan is giving Jesus a proposal. Look, if you worship me, I give you all these kingdoms. So right here, it is showing that the kingdoms of the earth belong to the wicked one, belong to Satan. This is his world. This is not run by Christian people. The world right now, the people who are in control and at the top are those who serve Satan. He's giving them power and dominion because this is his kingdom. And this is his kingdoms to give. That's what he told Jesus. It is mine to give. I can give it to whomever I please to give it to. Read verse 6. It's right there. You're still out here doing these songs. You know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago. And I'm... Holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth. <laughs> and on this earth, and in, uh, and then in the world we can't see. Well, they scared to lose their record deal. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. Thank you to that geezer over there, Adam. He said, he, said, uh, he said, I've got to find somebody who can, who can be absolutely charisma free and reviled by everybody. So he went, that's got to be Bale. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Let's go to 1 John 5.19. In the first epistle of John, it says here, uh, uh, chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of God, talking about the saints. And the whole world lies in wickedness. Everybody else, they're under the sway of the wicked one. We look at John chapter 14, verse 30. When Jesus is talking, and he says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me, or have no control over me. Who is the prince of this world? The prince of this world is the fallen angel, Lucifer who's also known as Satan the adversary. So just giving you guys some context that this world, that's why so much evil and wickedness and hatred 
in this world because it's all under the sway of the wicked one. He controls this. That's why those who do evil and do bad seem to always win and get rich and escape justice and things like that because they serve a different God. They walk to the beat of a different drummer. But let's get back to Kirk Franklin. Let's stay on task. So Kirk Franklin at the BET Awards, he performed uh, freestyle. And in his freestyle, he said that the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Yes, the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. So first, let's figure out, and I know you guys know, but for those who don't, let me show you who's the lion and the lamb. And I use scripture. So let's go to Revelation 5.5 5 in the book. I'm sorry, King James Version, Revelation 5.5. 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to loosen the seven seals thereof. He's talking about none other than Jesus Christ, who's Lord and Savior. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah from the bloodline. Let's go to John chapter 1, verse 29, to see who the Lamb is. And the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So Jesus Christ is the Lion and the Lamb. The Lion and the Lamb is Jesus Christ. Kurt Franklin, in his freestyle, said that the Lion and the Lamb will bow down to the goat. Take a look at this. Yo, Kirk Franklin, give me 16. Hit me. Like Big and Jay and Nas, the great escape of both. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Yo, Kirk Franklin, give me 16. Hit me. Like Big and Jay and Nas, the great escape of both. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Wow. Did you guys hear it? You know, and if you want to go back and, and find a, a vid, the video, it's on YouTube. You can look it up. You can see Kurt Franklin's freestyle. You can hear all of it. Um, I couldn't put much of it up because I will be hit with copyright infringement. So that's why I'm only able to put a snippet of it up. YouTube has been censoring everything, and that's one of the reasons why they've taken down my channel. Um, but anyway, Kirk committed blasphemy. And a lot of people don't know who the goat is. So let me share that with you. When he said the goat, the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat, he's talking about a goat of Mendes, the hermaphrodite figure that is worshipped by many. And it has both male and female sexual organs. It's the transgender goat. Amendes, hermaphrodite. And that's the goat he was talking about, a.k.a. Satan. The goat of Mendes is also the goat of Satan. So he's saying that Jesus Christ will bow down to Satan. That's exactly what he's saying. And for those of you who say, no, 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 the goat doesn't mean that. Let me share with you a little something. So I went to a satanic website. I met a satanic website. And here, here's what the Satanist says about the origins of the goat of Mendes. I will read it for you. It said, the origins of the goat of Mendes can be traced back to ancient Egypt. Goats and rams were worshipped in many cities throughout Egypt thousands of years ago. The goat is synonymous with Satanism. The horns represent the horn gods, goddesses. Goats also symbolize fertility in many different cultures and times. The goat as a symbol of fertility and focus of religious rites dates all the way back to Samaria. There it is. There it is. It then says here about the goat of Mendes. Tha, the Egyptian god of magic, knowledge, and wisdom, aka Satan, 
became the goat and sometimes a ram in the city of Mendes where he was worshipped as such. The goat or the ram of Mendes represents Ba, which was the Egyptian word for soul. Pa, Ta was considered to be the great, magi great magician and the lord of serpents. So everything about the goat has everything to do with serpents. And as I said, the goat and the ram were used interchangeably back in ancient Egypt as a symbol of Satan. You know, I was telling a friend a long time ago, and I don't want to get off in a tangent because I can, and it's pretty easy because I could actually ride up on this subject all day. But if you've been to uh, St. Louis, St. Louis has the Freemasonic Arch, like the double arches in McDonald's. McDonald's, the double arches, um, the M makes an M. The M stands for Mason. If you turn the arch sideways, if you look at the McDonald's thing, it says 13. That's a whole nother video for another time. But they moved the St. Louis Rams. They moved their franchise to Los Angeles. Los Angeles is known as the city of lost angels. And who's the general of the lost out of fallen angels? Satan, a Lucifer. That's why the Rams was moved to the city of lost angels. But that's a whole nother video for another time. Uh, just breaking down stuff. But, you know, Jesus Christ, as the scripture says, that every, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that's the truth. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Listen to the name, Jesus Christ, not no other name. You're going to have to say that Jesus Christ is Lord. It is what it is. You know, scripture says it is written. It's confirmed. Now, if you look in the book of Matthew, talking about the sheep and the goats, let me tell you what's going to happen to the goats. In the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 through 34, it says the following. King James Version. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left and then shall the king say unto them on his right hand which is the sheep come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world so the sheep is going to get eternal life they're going to get the inheritance of the kingdom that was prepared for them. Now, what do you think is going to happen to the goats? Like the separation of the wheat and the tares? The goat is considered a tear. It's going to get burned up. It's going to get cast in the fire pit. So, if you want to represent and take the side of the goats like Kurt Franklin, you got a fiery judgment that's coming to you. It's crazy, but it is what it is. You know, we live in a world where right now the separation is underway. There's no middle ground. There's no lukewarm. Jesus said, because you're lukewarm, I will spool you out my mouth. You got to be either hot or cold. There's no middle ground. You either becoming a sheep or a goat. You got to choose one or the other. There's no, I'm going to just take the sidelines and just watch this one and wait this one out. No, you have to make a choice. So, by your own free will, decide. Will you be a sheep or will you be a goat? It's up to you. I hope you decide to become a sheep and follow the shepherd, Lord Jesus Christ. But that's all I have for you guys today. Until my next video, guys, I love you guys. Thank you. Take care. God bless you. But it doesn't exist in hip-hop where they even let people like us in there. Or is there a hip-hop Illuminati? We don't know. And I'm just as curious as you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I'll be like, I'll be feeling like I'm down with the Illuminati. And then sometimes I'm like, them niggas ain't fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know, man. But... It's it's a it's, it's a level of success where it's a door. It's a door.
when you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's homo or if it's Illuminati. I just didn't take that, though. I went straight. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, this, sure listen, this is, when, you get to, when you get to a level of success, when you're getting 30, 40, 50,000 a show, you platinum, you're running across the world. There's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right. And then there's straight. To, straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Okay. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that okay. when you went straight. To the right, I'm not sure if that's the homo shit right there. And then there's to the left, I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. But I was offered these doors. It's just your offer? I, I, some, some gay shit? I don't, no, 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 no. I, I'm saying that to the right, when I seen it, Dill, those was those guys over there. You know what I'm saying? Those was those, those different people, which I have no problem with. You know, that's, that's y'all. You feel me? And I just chose to go straight. And I haven't been platinum since. 